nothing says tennis like, you know, a 40, a duck with an afro, and a blunt. No, nothing at all. No. When I, I hear those three words, I think of, oh, tennis. Yeah. Afros, yeah. blunts, and malt liquor? Yeah. That, that is the ideal tennis weekend, so And we, we actually went out to go play a little bit of tennis ourselves. Let, you want, let's roll that footage. <laughs> As you can see from that footage, Dave and I, we didn't make the professional tennis league because they're biased against us as video game show hosts. Yeah. We're obviously skilled enough to play tennis against the pros. Agassi, who's that? Yeah. I mean, really. Take you out in a second. Let's see some footage. This game started out as an arcade game in Japan and successfully translated itself into a Dreamcast game. One of the best Dreamcast games, I must say. It's Virtua. Fantastic. As you can see here, there's a nice selection of characters. There's eight of them that you get right away, and, and there's three on, I unlocked. I might add they're Virtua Tennis characters, and they play Virtua Tennis on a Virtua Tennis court with Virtua Tennis balls and a Virtua crowd with Virtua crowd noise. With Virtua rackets and Virtua strings. Virtua 40s that we Virtua love. Now, as you can tell here, unless you're an idiot, this is the one-on-one -on -one part, and there's also doubles in tennis if you're a double idiot. I'm going to explain this to you in uh, layman's terms, I believe that's what they call it. Well, we Fucking are, moron, we is are, that what layman means? We are pretty lame. Okay, anyway, as you can see, there's a variety of courts here. There's clay, uh, grass, hard court, carpet. They got it all. The only thing you can't do in the carpet level is drag people across uh, the carpet and give them rug burns. Nor can you court Anna Kornikova and bring her back to your place. You can't court any chicks in and this game. What is up with Sega and this whole Virtua thing? We got Virtua Soccer, Virtua Tennis, Virtua Pong, Virtua Beer, Virtua... They don't have Virtua Beer or Virtua Beer Pong, so let's they, not they, get ahead of ourselves. They should have. That, yes. Though. Now on with the game description here. Now with this game, there's two versions, of, uh, two ways to play this game. There's the arcade version and then there's the season mode. Now... With the arcade version, it's just a straight shot. You play six matches, uh, single player or double. And if you win, great. You get the freaking uh, gold cup. Uh, if not, you blow. Uh, that's the same with the first, with the one player one. You know, you play six matches, you win. Great. Now, there's also the quest mode, which is a lot like the Soul Calibur mode, where you go around, beat the crap out of teams or, you know, single players or doubles, collect money, and then go buy shit. But there's no fatalities. You can't cut anybody's head off with a tennis racket or launch it into the crowd and have wild jackals eat it or anything. You, you can't do that. They didn't have fatalities in Soul Calibur either. But they should have them in Virtua Tennis. Like we said, you should have been able to bash people in little bits. Virtua Decapitation, Virtua Colombian Necktie. I mean, that'd be fun stuff. That would be a great game. Virtua Drug Dealer. But anyway, uh, the quest mode is probably the best part about this game. It gives you the most replay value because what you do is that you have training missions also where you sort of go around and perfect your skills, per se. Uh, you have like a serving mode... Uh, a, lo a lobby, or what do they call it? The lob. The <laughs> lobby mode. The lob. <laughs> we get to lobby uh, politicians and uh, <laughs> make sure shit gets done right. Now, the only, this is the nice hot pink and blue the American Barbie court. The Barbie Dream Fun Court. Yeah. Where's Ken when he need him? Like, rolling up in the, in the six foe. Like, what's up, well, bitches? But this is uh, me whipping the uh, arcade version here. And there's too many men in this game, so really. It's all men. The next game, bring in women. And what's really cool about this game, though, like besides the fact that it's all men, is that uh, you get to you get eight characters right off the bat, and then throughout playing the quest mode, gaining money, you get to buy extra characters, extra clothes. You get to buy like enhancements of your racket. Yes, yeah, so I'll have Wolverine. You get to buy boards. And they have that guy named Tesla. Yeah, the game is incredibly fun. One of the, one of the best games to come out for Dreamcast yet. You know what was missing though? It was network play. I really wanted to play this game over the internet to people. I don't. I don't imagine it could have been that tough. No. To make internet play, and they I know the Japanese version of the game is getting that, but unfortunately, we we weren't privileged enough. But I have read they are making a sequel, and we will be so privileged enough to get internet play. Mm.